Eric, it's about time we wrap Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And for our last act of the day, we have the frostographer, or rather one voice, <laughs> Kipro Teachbet. And allow him to say good morning to you because he's a photographer and he's leading through the lens. So I hear. So let's hear. Say good morning. Good morning, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, as you've heard, my name is Royce Kipro Teachbet, mm -hmm. otherwise known as the frostographer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Karibu Sana Y254. So please do make sure that you do slide into our DM. We have a lot of Easter Panari giveaway. Actually, the hashtag is hashtag Easter Panari. Yes. So make sure you do follow Y254. You know how you can win. What you'd like to put in your basket, in your Easter basket. Who would like to take for dinner? Make sure you do participate in the conversation. You know, at Y254 channel on Twitter, the hashtag is Y in the morning. Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. On YouTube, in case you miss any of the valuable insights here at Y254 on DSTV channel 376 Signet 824 star 1054. Santeni Sana for joining us. My name is Hilda Wadidi. So it's about time we get to know Brand Rice. No, we want to know like where did you fall in love with the camera and when and how and why? Um, it all kind of happened by accident actually. Um, no, accidentally. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. There was one time I was working on a project with some friends. Uh, I used to be a dancer before this. A dancer? Yeah. Wow. So mm -hmm. we were working on a project. Then there was a friend of mine who just got like a new phone and she'd be shooting with it all the time, like during the breaks when you had practice. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd like ask for a phone and she, because like at the time I didn't have one. So just start, it started out from there. Then it developed into something I grew to love more and more. And here we are today. And here we are. Yeah. So when you discovered that, wow, okay, I think I really feel this thing. Did you did you undergo any kind of training? Did you go teach yourself? Or you just, what did you do? Um, it was mostly self-taught. Because, mm -hmm. like, um, when, I, when I actually started out shooting on my own, mm -hmm. uh, I just started, like, a, like a small LG camera phone. Mm -hmm. um, then after about a, a year, about, about a year after I started, um, I was called up for for some training by mm -hmm. canon mm -hmm. uh, it was a week-long workshop oh by canon wow yeah, they, yeah. did they give you a camera afterwards yeah actually yes oh wow uh-huh yeah so um that was when i got my first camera and then from then on it was self-taught so that's the only period of training that i've ever gone through Okay, considering you kind of you bumped into this passion or you stumbled upon it accidentally. So what type of photography would you, or how would you describe the kind of photography that you do? Especially, I can see your name is the Frostographer. Mm -hmm. it, does it have something to do with African culture or something? What, what is it? What, what would you, how would you define your, your pictures? Um, most, I, I like to mostly work with people. So mm -hmm. a lot of the time I find myself doing portraits. Mm -hmm. um, as time has gone on, I've found myself moving more towards like uh, fashion, mm -hmm. photography and mm -hmm. editorial work. Editorial work is like work that's to be posted in magazines and stuff. So, you know, creating sets and uh, photographing those sets, like mm -hmm. people in those sets. Mm -hmm. So that's that's pretty much the best way i can describe it. it's uh portrait photography uh, like that's the broader definition of it okay now that yeah. you're not more of nature you're more of human what is it about your human bodies that intrigues you as a photographer or the human body the human body <laughs> <laughs> yeah the human body i think mm -hmm. that's 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 the best way to put it uh yeah. i think it's it's more so the the idea when when you think of photography, it's 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 a very short, tiny moment mm. captured, and yes. it you're supposed to convey a lot of things in that. Mm. And I feel like humans generally convey a lot of different emotions, mm -hmm. and can do that like in a very short span of time. Mm -hmm. So, being able to capture those little moments of emotion, mm -hmm. that's really what what drives me in that direction. I like that you've talked about the idea of emotion because I was about to ask you what what is it what, what would you define as a good picture like if, if I was just to throw a sample of pictures in in your face what would what would be some of the qualities that you look for before you say okay now this is a good picture uh, I mean there are obviously technical aspects that you can talk about mm -hmm. um, if you ask a lot of photographers they tell you like you have to follow the rule of thirds which is something that mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. not many people would understand like mm -hmm. there's all those technical aspects which make a photo 
technically good mm -hmm. but then beyond that you have to you have to think about no i want for for the photographer in specific yeah. not in yeah. a very general sense the, the, so there's that then mm -hmm. beyond that you have you have to think of what what it is that you want to make the person who's viewing that feel mm -hmm. what 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 emotion is it that that you want the people to you know get from that photo oh how you want the person who is viewing to feel yeah oh because as much as you're you're showing how the person in the photo is feeling mm. there's a certain way you want the person who's viewing the photo to feel wow so you put all this in one yeah Oh, that must be interesting. I can see when your Instagram page is here, and I can see reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, that just means uh, giving what you get. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, it's 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 something that I live by. Whatever whatever it is that I f I feel I receive from people mm -hmm. is what I would want to give back to people. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you give good vibes, such so can get good vibes. Exactly. Ah. Yeah. So you, that's what you strive for generally in life. I can see your page is running through the screen, and I can see a few images here. I can see a few pictures. Yeah. Can we stop at that one there? This one here. Uh, of the lady with the oh yeah. the Beyonce <laughs> the Statue of Liberty <laughs> action going on. That that one. Yes. <clears throat> Tell me about this one. And who is this? Okay, so this mm -hmm. is this is my friend. Her mm -hmm. name's uh, Michelle Ngeleche. Mm -hmm. um, very good friend of mine. She she called me up and told me that uh, mm -hmm. she, th she was working on those flower crowns and wanted to to shoot uh, to have a shoot around that. Where did she get concept. golden flowers? Um, was she painted the roses? What? How did? What? What? Uh, I don't know if she wants me to reveal that like trade secret. Okay. But yeah, mm -hmm. so she she made all those flower, all all that by hand. Mm -hmm. um, then we just she just called me up and we sh we shot this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about um, uh, some celebrities or who inspires you when it comes to this photography industry here in Kenya. Does anybody in particular capture your attention? Is there any photographer that you appreciate? That you think is like yeah yeah, yeah this guy does his thing well. <laughs> yeah, there are quite a few. I, I I can't say the the photography industry is as old as yeah many other industries in the way that it is it exists now. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely a a lot of people who who mm -hmm. inspire me. One, for example, is a name that I think comes up a lot in these conversations mm -hmm. is Mutua Madeka. Wow. Even uh -huh. though he doesn't, um, his his style of photography and mm -hmm. the way he presents his work isn't, uh, doesn't align itself with mine. He's definitely very inspiring the way that he goes about his work. Mutu Yeah. Wow. The mm -hmm. consistent quality that he delivers mm -hmm. and just generally how he carries himself. There is uh, Sarah Waiswa. There is... Hey, and you know them, you've done your research clearly, okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to, and you're getting into, into a certain space, you have to know the people who came before you. Mm -hmm. And then beyond uh, the people who came before me, the people who I have, st who I maybe started out with and have come to work with mm -hmm. as I've grown, there's my very good friend Onyango Diambo, he's actually the person that I started shooting with. Mm -hmm. So he's, with my, with him, it's more of, you know, a, f a friendly competition. He mm -hmm. like we keep each other on our toes, so that's the kind of. Oh, you keep it, you keep each other in check. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I see. So that's the kind of inspiration that I draw from him. Uh huh. And there are a lot of other names. I'm sure I can't mention all of them uh, like right now. But well, at, at least we are glad that you know a few. You know, because people, you know, s people tend to not know or, or say nobody inspires them. They're just uh, there by themselves or whatever. But anyway, <clears throat> let's talk about um, your journey now. Um, what are some of the challenges that you faced while you were doing this, considering um, you haven't studied for it rather, like it's self-taught. So what are some of the challenges? Do you have any clashes with people who have trained? Um, or what happens? Um, I think one of the main things that becomes a challenge is is for the most part um just access to different things like mm -hmm. sometimes you would need uh certain equipment to do a certain project but you can't always access it directly you have to go through this channel and that channel and this channel and mm -hmm. it becomes a bit of a problem and um another thing is being able to navigate uh that terrain as a business because mm -hmm. it's it's it there's 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 be, there's not really too much of a blueprint for that so 
you kind of just what do you, what do you mean what what does blueprint mean what does that mean you know when you when 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 somebody talks about going into banking it's already established you know what it is that you need oh, to do oh it's an established industry like exactly. even okay so you know what you need to do when you're getting into it and you know where you need to go you know what you need to learn but then with photography you kind of like learn the craft and for a lot of people that i know uh in Kenya at least or let me say in Nairobi mm -hmm. a lot of them are self taught mm -hmm. so you already have to go through the 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 challenges of learning the craft on your own mm -hmm. and then now you have to deal with figuring out the business you you need to figure out um how to how to price your work how to charge what wh how to approach the So how clients. do you price exactly let's I'm asking so how do you price like now okay if if for example someone to tells me that I taught myself this uh, mm. but I'm going to charge you maybe 50,000 um what kind of backlash do you get like I, I'd like to know how do you um, price I don't if know, you've it's, taught it's, yourself it's it's uh for the most part it varies depending mm -hmm. on what 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 work you do that's mm -hmm. on a, on a broader scale mm -hmm. personally um I have to think about the time that I'm putting into the project uh whether it's it's a month because con certain projects need a What's certain What's the bias with the outdoor and the indoor? It's, it's very annoying with you photographers just being artists. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is with the shift in price? Like, come on. You know, when you're shooting indoor, a lot of people don't have access to their own studios. Mm. So when you're shooting indoor and say you're shooting at somebody's studio, you have to, f you have to think of what you're going to pay that person to use that space mm -hmm. for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. So that would ordinarily you know raise the price up oh yeah when you're shooting outdoor certain so there are certain places where you can go and shoot for free certain places will charge you yeah and in kenya particularly it it, it it's 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 such a hassle to be a photographer because because there are not very many places that would would allow you you to, have access to, to mm -hmm. yeah <coughs> you like the moment you pull out you pull out your camera mm. everybody is just on edge they're like hey so <laughs> it you have you, there's 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 a there's a lot to think about when you're when you're pricing your work and I feel like not not very many. Wait, well, follow up, well, up. I want you to go back to the place where the, um, where you said that uh, there's some places you'll remove your camera and like all hell will break loose. Like you'll be like no 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 no. no even even in media houses and what have you, I've seen that challenge happening. So how does that interfere with your work? What if that's the only place you can do that particular shoot? What how does how do you cope, man? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's 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 just you have to you have to be adaptable. You have to understand that. Uh, Are you sneaky? Do you sneak around? <laughs> Do you? Well, like I don't think I can see that on camera, <laughs> but um, uh -huh. you 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 just have to be adaptable. You have to understand that not 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 uh -huh. every place and not everyone will grant you the access that you need, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to just figure out ways to to find look like for example more if friendly or friendlier locations yeah, like friendlier if you can't break the rules man <laughs> you know yeah so uh -huh. find friendlier locations or even create your own you know because some yeah oh some, create your own ah that's a solution yeah sometimes right it's there. it's completely improvisation like the, the 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 photo that you just showed with michelle yes um what what we did for that setup we just got uh, a sheet of fabric put it up on a hanging line put some some, on hanging. <laughs> yeah, some <laughs> weights to just support to make sure that it, uh -huh. that it's down on the ground and it's not moving. Uh -huh. And we shot there. Hey, sh it looks so fabulously outdoor. Okay, clearly the photographer's skill is is something worth yeah. noting. Okay, look, tell me about the technique you've used for this particular picture, because I can see most. about the, the the outfit mostly yeah partly because because mm -hmm. uh, i think a lot of the artists just came out you know dressed ordinarily then blinky bill was like okay i'm going to wow you guys mm -hmm. so i really wanted to show off the outfit and mm -hmm. besides that like the stance that he has mm -hmm. i don't know i don't think you can see it too clearly mm -hmm. like I, uh, I don't know about the quality of the display but mm -hmm. uh, nini yeah that was that was what i had in mind mm -hmm. for that Okay, so let's move on to the next picture. But it's a, it's an interesting picture. At least I could see the outfit. The next, oh, the next one is still kind of about the. Out okay, let me just see what I think it looks like. It looks like um, it's about the jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so do you market for people their 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 jewelry, that business, their clothes and stuff? Well, yeah, it it depends on what I'm approached for, but mm -hmm. it's uh, like I said earlier, a lot of the work that I've come to do now is mm -hmm. fashion related. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this wasn't actually like a, a paid shoot; it was mm -hmm. just uh, a shoot I had with with some friends. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought the jewelry on her looked really nice, so I. Uh, tried to figure out a way to, you know, mm -hmm. show it off. Ah, you tried to figure out a way to show it off. Okay, yeah. it, it appears you do appreciate a lot of girls as well, because I can see there's another one here. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a bias for ladies? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what, what, what does this mean? Is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> is that a yes? No, this is, uh, this is, uh, uh -huh. that was Omari. I was mm -hmm. shooting for, there's a, a brand called Bongosa. I'm actually wearing the jacket right ah, now. Ah, okay. Uh, then this was also another shoot for Bongo Sawa. Mm -hmm. uh, this was another shoot with just uh, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. mm, so yeah, a lot of times I find myself working with 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 my friends or when when I'm not doing paid shoots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find myself uh, working with a lot of a lot of uh, friends that mm -hmm. I've made mm -hmm. on the on my way mm -hmm. as I've been building myself up as a photographer. So yeah. I like the fact that you've mentioned that uh, the friends that you've made along the way. How do you keep your, your, your clients coming back? Um, as far as that, you have to make sure that there are certain, there are certain things. You have, to, you have to consider certain things. You have to make sure that your work is quality, mm -hmm. for one. Two, you have to make sure that uh, you're, you're reliable. When you come up with a timeline, you stick to that timeline. If you say we're going to shoot on this day for this for this much time, you shoot for that. You say you'll deliver in this much time. Make sure you stick to all of those. And uh, also, you have to honor your deadlines. Exactly. Ah. And also, you have to show your commitment mm -hmm. to to the work that you're doing. So uh, you have to be on point every time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. You have to be on point every time. Sounds like a lot of pressure. So let's talk about um, your. Um, I'm sure you've built like a, like a whole database now of some of the work that you've done. Let's talk about your worst day on the job. You know, like, um, had you gone for a shoot? I don't know whether, whether it went wrong. Just tell me, like, or did you do a shoot and all the footage disappeared? Like, what was your worst day on the job like? And what did you do to overcome it? Um, I think the, there, was, there was a time when I'd, I'd uh, done a shoot for, for a band. Mm -hmm. uh, then, mm -hmm. yeah, we had done a shoot for a band. Then mm -hmm. uh, the photos that I had, I'd, I'd saved on a friend's laptop because mine had had some issues. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I'd left it with him because I was coming back to to pick them and then go edit like after two days. Mm -hmm. So I come back and I find that he's de he's deleted the photos. Oh, so they weren't even corrupted; they were just deleted were accidentally. Gone. Goodness. Yeah. Uh huh. So now I had to explain to to the band that I was working with that okay. you know, this and this happened, and yeah, it was it was a lot. How did you deal with it? How did that make you feel? Um, obviously, I was I was annoyed at the mm -hmm. fact that the photos are gone. I was worried about what how the client would take the information, mm -hmm. but I I just explained myself. Mm -hmm. They were they were not very happy about that mm -hmm. and. Uh, I just offered my time because cause I was supposed to deliver the photos. Now you had to do time. a pro bono. Yeah, so I had to do a pro bono <laughs> again to make up for that. Yeah, to compensate. Yeah. That's interesting. It's good for for the fans also to hear that sometimes things do go wrong. Yeah, things do go wrong And all it's the time. good to be honest, you know, and, yeah. and if you can compensate. What about your best day on the job as you conclude this segment? So you can leave them with something maybe they can take home with them. Uh, the best day, yeah. Best day on the job. Yes, or the best client, or the best shoot. I don't know. Whatever don't know. was, whatever you consider to be your best so far. Uh, I think my 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 best. Let me let me say best client. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. It'll have to be Bongo Sawa. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. Which is a brand owned by somebody who's become my friend. Mm -hmm. um, so, mm -hmm. so I've worked with them over over the span of like probably two years, mm -hmm. just uh, different shoots. Mm -hmm. And working with them is al is always very fulfilling because because they they just like okay so we have this these clothes come up with a concept and shoot them and they give me full creative freedom so mm -hmm. yeah that's really good so you you kind of appreciate them because they gave you the freedom the creative freedom as well 
yeah it's 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 really cool to be able to do what you want to do ah. and they get, and they allow that so yeah okay okay so uh, most photographers tend to diversify into film do you have any interest in making films or documentaries do you even see yourself there or where do you see yourself in the next two years or so um i do have an interest in film because i actually studied mm -hmm. it for for a while in in school mm -hmm. um and yeah i i might go into that it's mm -hmm. it it depends on a few things but it's definitely something I'm considering. It's something you're considering. Yeah. Okay, so as a parting shot, can you tell them uh, your social media handles as well? And also maybe something, something, something to tell someone at home who is really interested in this. Um, my social media is uh, they.frostographer on Instagram. On Twitter, it's RoyceBet, just RoyceBet. Mm -hmm. um, and for anybody who's interested in photography, I would advise you first understand the craft. There, there, there's a lot that goes into it, not not just what people uh, <laughs> the final portray product. it as. They're just like, ah, niko piga tu pita nini. You have to understand what is what it is that you're getting into and try to learn as much as as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Also, make make as many friends as you possibly can along the way because you'll need the help in the future. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! And thank you, Sana, for coming through. Thanks At least we've me. had make some friends as uh, as you as you're going along. Yeah? yeah, you'll need them sometime if you're Definitely. a photographer somewhere out there. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Why in the Morning, your favorite breakfast show. Please do not go anywhere. There's still a lot of entertainment still uh, planned out for you during the day on Y254 channel. My name is Hilda Wadidi. Please do not go anywhere and have yourself a very good day.